Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is another homegrown songwriter showcase, courtesy of Hal Savar. This time, though, we're at a new venue called Soul Belly Barbecue on Main Street in downtown Las Vegas. I did a live stream of the show, which is up on the channel right now. I've also reviewed this venue before, which you can check out here. Speaking of which, if you'd like to be reviewed or interviewed or both, hit me up using my email address or the social media link down in the description. While you're there, please consider subscribing, ringing the bell, and liking this video. Thanks. With the exception of the last act, everyone performing were or are about to be Room 6 alumni, even the sound guy David who sings for Madzilla. It was great to know and be known by practically everyone in the room like a Room 6 reunion. I even got a shout out by Hal on stage. <laughs> I feel so seen. First off, I'm happy to announce that last Sunday's test run resulted in the Homegrown Songwriter Showcase now being held every Sunday at Soul Belly Barbecue. Happy days! Located between two breweries, Soul Belly is a great place to catch some great food and some awesome music. The owner, Bruce, has put a lot of effort into making this a destination spot for locals and tourists alike. As usual, the showcase was kicked off by our host, Hal Savar, a master at warming up a crowd and gaining interest from the casual audience member. Hal was joined on stage by drummer Amante Henry. Amante sat in on drums for a few acts of the night and did a great job, especially considering that none of the acts had ever practiced with him before. As for Hal, he combined humor with storytelling and did a great job of telling a tale while being memorable. Following Hal was perennial friend of the channel, Scotty Dub. I just recently interviewed Scotty for the second time, so make sure you check it out after watching this video. Aside from his own style of chill party vibe music, Scotty can be heard on numerous collaborations with local artists spanning the genre spectrum. He's very talented and versatile, and I'm proud to call him a member of the Room 6 alumni. Up next was Nidia Martinez, mixing lyrical vocals with electric guitar chords in a way that was both beautiful to listen to and upbeat. Her songs are full of empowerment and lessons learned from life and love, which resonated with the crowd and earn some appreciative cheers. After Nidia was Robert Stokes, who also fronts the Robert Stokes Band and Default Valentine, which I just saw at this very venue. Keep an eye out for that show review and my review of Soul Belly Barbecue soon. Robert Stokes' solo is a little different musically than Robert Stokes in front of a band. Whereas the frontman Robert gives us rock and roll fused with ska and rock steady, solo Robert brings more island vibes that closer represent where ska came from. Trademark quirky humor and fun to watch stage presence makes Robert an awesome act to watch, regardless of how many people are on stage with him. Jumping back on stage to fill some setup time needed by the upcoming act, Hal Savar played another song from his massive repertoire. Regaling the crowd with a story about drunken songwriting, he gave ample time for the next act to set up. That next act was none other than Aubrey Digital, rocking the keys and laptop. Aubrey's new EP, Hello World, is out now, so make sure you use the social media link down in the description to get your own copy from her. Aubrey's music reflects her background as a computer programmer, from the album title to her clever phrasing and analytical wordsmithing. Unlike some other acts of the evening, Aubrey had a different drummer helping her out in the form of James Pasquale, who would actually provide percussion for the act coming right up after. That upcoming act was Jan Jan, who will be coming on the channel soon for an upcoming interview. Splitting her time between Canada and Las Vegas, Jan Jan has collaborated with James on numerous tracks. James also provides guitar on most of those tunes. Starting off with an electric guitar before moving to an electric ukulele in the shape of an electric guitar, Jan Jan's singing was powerful and lilting, which gave the music made by this duo a nice balance of introspection and hope. From lilting and hopeful to powerful and rockin', the next act was Chalmer Harper. At time of recording, I had just interviewed Chalmer three days earlier, right here. Joined on stage by Amante on drums and Chalmer's friend Chris Massa on lead guitar, the energy level skyrocketed as the trio powered through Chalmer's set. Having heard some of these tunes just three days earlier from a solo of Chalmer, this version rocked. Keep an eye out for his upcoming studio album. 
Coming up next was Sage Waters, one of multiple talented songwriters of the night that borrowed Robert Stokes' sticker festooned guitar. With beautiful vocal runs and rapid fire lyrics full of empowerment and passion, Sage was a crowd favorite, even when occasionally cracking herself up and flubbing a line or two. The audience was so supportive of everyone, and not just the performers waiting their turn to play. Soul Belly Barbecue seems to engender an atmosphere of friendliness and congeniality missing from a lot of Vegas establishments. Following Sage was the one act performing to a track, Cameron Paul. Always a hit with his passionate baby making music, Cameron knows how to work the microphone and the crowd well. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Cameron would be amazing with a live band. If you're a musician that wants to help increase the population of Las Vegas through mood building music, hit him up using his social media tag in the description. Finishing out the night was the one act not listed on the bill, Vera for Love. She only performed one song, but it was a doozy. Full of emotion and memories, her performance reminded me a little of Paula Cole from the 90s and a little bit of Jewel, also from the 90s. She's definitely one to watch and she's definitely coming on the channel soon. Overall, the first homegrown songwriter showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was a success and I'm glad Hal asked me to live stream it and do a review. I'm looking forward to this Sunday's showcase very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll swing by Soul Belly Barbecue if you're in the neighborhood and you'll check out all these acts uh, by using their social media links in the description. Also, I hope you'll consider being a subscriber. It really does make a difference. Even if you just ring the bell and click none, honestly, I'd still appreciate it. That being said, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe, like I said, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time, hopefully, either on the live stream or at Soul Belly this Sunday and on Room 6.